I'm assuming this is the way to Glinda Falls. We're gonna find out. Google Wrong, Maps. Sir. Google Maps says it is. So the bike route is the key place, and you park over here. There's a baseball field over there, and you can park to the left. So let's go see about Linda Falls. I've never been here. Ryan's never been here. Yeah. So we're, we saw it on Google Maps. No clue we thought we'd visited. come check it out. There's probably some water still running because we're in, you know, end of April. And there's a lot of rain. And we have tons of rain this year. Thank God. So hopefully um, we'll find it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I hope so, for sure. Yeah. Well, lo and behold, we made it. We are here. The road was up there where the bike route sound was. Bike route. Yeah, route sound. Ooh. Walk down here. We're here. We're going to walk straight up to Linda Falls. And let's go. You can see the wildlife here. And wildlife. Birds and salamanders. We're walking on this path. We're not sure where exactly we're going, but... The destination is supposed to be Linda Falls. And there's zero cell phone coverage out here. So I was trying to look up what Linda Falls, why it was named that, but it's yeah. obviously named after Linda. <laughs> I don't know. And don't know who now we're it. walking on these granite path. New hatchlings. We're continuing down the path there's a split in the road however this new signs yeah so linda falls straight ahead sawmill trail that away yeah let's head to linda falls so it lo looks like the uh forest of um what is it knee hmm. <laughs> none yeah. shall pass we don't really know uh, anything If you had some coconut, so we'd be good. <laughs> yeah. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into here, but uh, let's see. <laughs> oh my God. None shall pass. None shall pass. You are pass. in the forest of meat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Classic Holy Grail movie moment. Yeah. Classic movie moment. Okay, the audio of the waterfalls is now present. Here in the Habitat restoration in progress. Please stay on trail. It gets a little steep here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, heading down the hill. So you, you, so you know, fallen tree. for those of you that have um, issues going down steep, slippery dirt trails, uh, maybe not a good idea to come to Linda Falls. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but you can watch my video and enjoy. Yeah, it's a beautiful place regardless. Well, we're moving down. It's certainly beautiful here. This tree is really big. Winding our way down. More poison oak. <laughs> and a hose. And another fallen tree. Someone's doing maintenance though at the very least. Yep. Okay, it's getting louder. What did you find, Ryan? Found a bunch of plastic. Anytime you're in nature, I think it's a good idea to just pick up after others that uh, don't feel as courteous as you do and uh, save this planet that we're on. We only get one planet, so uh, yeah. I don't know, picking up other people's trash. Love Mother Nature. These are clean cut. Look at these, they're always. You're right. Windstorm, maybe? Oh, you're right. Check out the spider web. 
Well, here we are. Linda Falls, pretty impressive. Yeah. Absolutely. And they've got the green, little green stream and moss. And... All right. So we're going on a bit of a journey here, heading to uh, as close as we can get to the falls. We're going to have to go down these rocks and then uh, follow a little bit of a trail over there. But there's some cool stuff over there. I already looked at it a little bit. So um, let's see. I believe in you. <laughs> here, here, like put your whole body on it and then just like slide. A male, like a yes, male. yes, do it. You got it. <laughs> I believe that you yeah, can do that. Yeah, but I don't know if it's worth it. You can go up, you can go around there and then you can go here and then down. Yeah, I just want to get a view of it. Well, here, I'm going to take you guys on a bit of a journey here. I have faith in you, Dad. I believe. You have the capability. And where I'm going to go on a bit of a journey. Alright. Time for POV climbing. With only one hand. Which is not really recommended. Not the safest. But I'm decently good at it. So we are going to be fine. So, there the fall. And this is a bit of an area where you kind of gotta. You gotta gotta do a little bit of a thing with your feet here. And press up against the wall and do this. And this is a good spot. So, so, let me explain what I'm doing here to keep myself balancing and. The reason why I'm not falling at all is I'm keeping my body weight mostly on my left arm right here, putting pressure on it, and then I'm pressuring it, putting a lot of pressure on my left arm, and a lot of pressure on my left foot and my right foot. That way, perfectly balanced, even though I'm not necessarily standing on anything. And we can slowly work our way down. Do not want to fall. So I recognize that that position was a bit precarious. So I'm going to move on and try a different way down. I'm going to head back down. Here. Here. Uh, here. Uh. And we made it. See, it's not much of a cave. It's more just like a little... A little cove, I'd say. Won't be picking up that broken beer bottle, I'm sorry. Not broken glass. But, uh, I'll get some plastic if I ever find any. The soccer ball I want to dislodge is somewhere around here. So, um, let's, uh, let's go on the hunt. Alright. So, it seems like this is as close as we're going to get here today. But, um, I think this is pretty damn good. Right up next to it, right there. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. Amazing day to be outside. Well, here we are. Kind of sun is coming through the trees there. This waterfall almost looks like it belongs in a tropic place. With all that moss, there's a little more green above the water flowing. You think you might be on a tropic island somewhere. But in reality, that water is about 54 to 56 degrees, and it's very cold. Probably colder than that, to be honest. Not tropic. Look at the little stream of water running off the edge there. 
didn't even notice that right away. A lot of details to this waterfall. Wow, it's pretty impressive when you get down below it. Linda Falls. And look who made it to the top. I bet it is. Nice. Let me get a picture of you. You see Wilson down there? Soccer ball slash volleyball stuck under the rock, spinning. Probably came downstream during one of these storms. And now it's living its life permanently under those two rocks. There's a crow over there. You see him? Kind of hard to miss, huh? Who's just hopping from rock to rock? Looking for scraps. It is time for one more journey as I have found a way up to the summit. And we will find out what is up there momentarily. Uh, it's a bit of a treacherous climb. Not too dangerous in terms of fall, but just like lots of big steps, climbs you gotta get over. So um, I'll be taking you guys up there. So we start the climb. Pull yourself up there. Big step. Big step. And you gotta get on those roots there. Get up here. Pull. Gotta use all, all four limbs here for this type of this type of stuff. Okay. Right here. And we pull up here. Now we're here. This is tough. So, this is probably the most treacherous part. You get on this trunk, make sure you always balance with two things hold and feet. There's no way I'm going to fall. Now, you hold here, you put your foot here. And you put, I'm going to have to put the camera down, but I'm going to try and get it in a good position for you guys. And then I'm going to use all of my power here to climb up. Pick it back up. And now we're good to go. Ooh. All right, we're good. There's my jacket. All right. We're almost there, guys. We're up the worst of it, for sure. All right. Here we go. As you can see, it's uh, absolutely breathtaking out here. What a great day to be out. I'm going to grab here, put my foot here, 
Alright. Now sometimes what you gotta do is recognize the capability of slide. So you go here, you sit down and just slide. Alright. So this is why I wanted to bring you guys up here. Is um so that I could safely get down. Make sure you always practice safety first. Whenever you're up here, no matter the context, this gorgeous plateau region. And look at this. Someone left some stacked rocks here. For us to look at. You know, I've only been able to pull that off a few times in my life. I mean, it's not the hardest thing, but also isn't too easy. All right. So what I'm going to do here is focus on my life. Because, you know, this is a long fall. You need to be careful. You need to focus on yourself. You might need to accept the fact that you might get a little wet in the process. And that's okay. So, you may notice here, there are metal hooks here. I presume this is for climbers who want to climb up here. I don't really know any other context of why this could be useful, but I find it interesting and I thought I'd point it out. Um, this is an amazing spot to sit. Right down there we can uh, maybe find my dad. You guys see it play our spot. Alright, so, we're in a very precarious spot here. Maybe comfortable, maybe beautiful, maybe great, but you need to practice safety in these situations and understand that despite how beautiful this may be, you're in a dangerous situation. So, I'm going to take one last look at the magnificent beauty of nature. And get down. Alrighty. So that's been up here. I think it was worth it. I think it was gorgeous. Um, I hope you guys think the same and I've enjoyed the uh, presentation. Hey, buddy. It's a friendly crow. Been chilling with us the whole time. All I have is beef jerky. We can offer him some though. Hold on. Come on, bud. Ah. Come on. He got scared. Yeah, he's too scared of us. What? Look at this tree, wow. It's a big one. Yeah. wonder how old it is. Thousands of years ago. It's pretty old. It's a big one. So as you can see, the trail out of Linda Falls is pretty brutal. aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> pretty brutal. We just hiked up the trail. Yeah. And we're out of breath for sure. Quite the hike. But I wanted to thank you guys for coming on my journey today with me and Ryan. Yeah. And I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for stopping by.